Hi Virgo, welcome to this reading. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Queen of Cups reversed, Judgment, Two of Pentacles. Temperance in reverse. I don't know if someone plays the trumpet. Um, trumpets have been following me. I, I feel that everywhere I go, I'm hearing trumpets, you know, really bizarrely, like I'll park my car and I'll get out, walk somewhere and someone in the distance is playing a trumpet. <laughs> like, when does that happen? Um, okay, so we have Sagittarius here. I feel that like your person has made a decision, actually, that they've not um, told you about yet. This decision could be to reach out to you to message you or to send you a specific kind of message if you're already talking or you know wanting to begin again um or to have a new journey here but they haven't told you about it and um I, I feel there's an excitement but they're trying to there's excitement but confusion they feel a bit unsettled and they're trying to figure this plan out i think they might be seeing you as quite self-focused at the moment not in a bad way just that you are giving a lot of love and attention to yourself which could even be um attracting them you know in drawing them in okay yeah we have the magician so gemini energy here they've decided to create something three of cups i do feel for some of you here what your person wants to create is a reconciliation or a reunion and if you're as i said already in contact you're around each other i feel that they want to create um, an outing or an event or something you know invite you somewhere social especially maybe if you know them from work or you've just been going through kind of a heavy time with them um we do have the pumpkin here so you see they're thinking about doing this right now And the Queen of Swords. Interesting how we had that King of Swords um, before I started shuffling. Seven of Wands in reverse. So if they've been blocking you from their heart space or, you know, keeping up a guard, they have made a decision to, to drop that guard, to unblock you if they've literally blocked you. Maybe they're hoping you might unblock them, you know, if you have. Um, yeah, I, I feel your person's made a decision to try to reinvigorate things or to have this new beginning here with you. Um, I do see you being this Queen of Cups, whether you're a water sign or not, but Queen of Swords, I'm not sure who this is yet, could be your energy. Um, if it's someone else, I'm not getting a feeling that's, that's, you know, freaking me out. I don't feel that this is a particularly sinister person or someone to worry about. We have Pisces energy here. Um, look at this, Two of Cups reversed, Moon reversed. So there have been things they haven't said in the past. And they're saying, you know what? Yes, I'm going to make a start by saying what I have to say through this reading, through these messages. But also there's a lot that I want to tell you. Could be that they didn't share their feelings with you. Maybe, um, you know, they, they didn't share much at all and left you to fill in the blanks. Okay, Queen of Cups, Two of Wands. Um, is somebody a geography teacher? Um, okay yeah look at this absolutely your person has decided okay you know let's let's start this again i want to have a, another go here i still feel very much in love with you um if there is you know whatever kind of distance there is between you geographical maybe a distance that's been created through no communication emotional distance they're saying how do i close this gap we have the world on the back in reverse so i want to travel to see you also I don't care, you know, if it seems like this is over, I'm going to try, I'm going to try and, and have another go. I want to be in your life again. Okay, judgment with the magician, please. Six of coins, they're wanting a balanced relationship, um, you know, reciprocity here. If there's a third person, your person may be trying to manifest this person away. So whether this is on their side or your side, See, look, look at this magician, two of wands. We have the two of wands twice. Your person is very focused right now, very um, action oriented, which I think is great. Um, if there is a third person, whether it's romantic or otherwise, your person's very dissatisfied with this other person's company, very bored. There's been, I think, as much growth with this other personal situation as there can be. Two of coins, three of cups, please. 
Oh, see, look, they've got so much to say to you. Knight of Swords. Let's see what it is they're wanting to say. Knight of Swords, please. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I didn't put in um, enough time, enough effort, enough energy in the past. <laughs> Two of Pentacles again. Goodness. Okay. Yeah, so maybe they want to say, look, I was juggling in the past. I was juggling a situation that's stable in terms of money, finances, a foundation. Um, I was juggling that, but it was unhappy with this chance here, this very emotionally emotionally fulfilling opportunity with you. And I wish I hadn't have done that. Can we can we try again? Um, this can also be saying, yeah, as, you know, we've got justice. We've got Ten of Swords reverse, Libra energy here. This can be your person saying, my stable foundation is something that I'm trying to get myself out of. I'm trying to manifest a way out of this. And I feel that the energy your person is in right now, if they have a moment of divine inspiration, you know, they feel divinely guided to take some kind of action, I do get the sense that they will take it. They're not really, they don't, they don't want to doubt themselves. They don't want to second guess or overthink. We have so, we do have swords, but I feel that's not thoughts. That's them saying, I want to communicate this with you. We have lots of pentacles. We have even more um, fire, you know, wands here. So your person is very much focused on making something happen. Leo, we have the sun in the reverse. There's a sense that, again, they want this rebirth. They want to bring, I'm hearing wisdom. They have wisdom they want to bring forward with them now, insight. Um, you know, they want joy, happiness, healing with you. And they want to have a, um, an opportunity with you that's very joyful. For some of you I'm hearing, you may have had a time like that in the past where you went out during the day or the evening. You could have been social around others, whether it was like your friends or there were just other people around. And it was really nice. And they kind of want to recreate that moment. Um, or they could be saying, you know, this is something I, I would love. I'd love to be out with you in the day, you know, people seeing us and us just, you know, just, just putting ourselves out there. So maybe for some of you, your person feels that something about your connection in the past was kept a bit of a secret or had to be, you know, um, navigated quietly. Okay, so let's see, who is this Queen of Swords? Temperance reverse Queen of Swords, please. Six of Swords. Sorry, Six of Swords, Six of Wands, the King of Pentacles in the reverse, the Devil in reverse, so Capricorn energy. Um, this could be someone that your person is wanting to move away from. This could be that third energy, if there is a third energy for some of you. With me saying the Six of Swords, you know, we know that that's when you're saying, right, I'm in a, a chaotic situation, it's stressing me out, I'm packing my bag and I'm moving forward. So I do feel there's a sense of moving on and, and you know, with the Six of Wands, doing it in a victorious way. King of Pentacles reversed. I am dropping my responsibilities, my attachments here. Maybe your person was worried in the past about reputation, how people would see them and they're saying, you know, I heard a rude word, I would say it. <laughs> Maybe they're thinking, forget all of that. Um, doesn't matter, I'm moving on, I'm moving forward. I don't want to be tied and bound anymore by these things that I thought were a luxury, but how much of a luxury are they really if I'm sitting in the middle of all of this, but I'm miserable? Wow, okay, four of cups in reverse on the back. Yeah, brings us back to this ace of cups. Okay, I want to take this cup now. I want to offer this to you. Okay. So let's have a look what other messages we get. No other compares to you. Um, I don't know if it took them a while to realise this. Maybe they were potentially keeping their options open with that Six of Pentacles. I don't, you know, for most of you, I think, though, that they've, they've always known this and they just didn't tell you. There is so much they want to tell you that they've held in. And for some reason, they're saying now is the time. I'm still trying to find myself. I think that's more a journey they've been on, a journey of truly figuring out what makes them happy. And it's not just having, a, you know, stability, money, a, ho a nice home, some sort of reputation here. Maybe those things are nice, but they're, they're not happy without you. I feel damaged, like I just can't do this. And we have, we will be together again. Okay, the damaged feeling I feel is them saying to this other person, if there's someone else, look, I can't do this anymore. This is a, a broken situation or it's not working. Um, the, the, you know the other energy it could be it could be parents it could be even it could they, you know even be their ego their own thoughts maybe they've been telling themselves very low vibrational things you know 
I'm not strong enough to make this transition or I'm not good enough or blah, blah, blah. Um, but again, that's not an energy I think they're carrying with them now. Okay, um, I can't handle your words right now. So um, if they caused some pain or maybe made you feel neglected in the past or something like that, they might be a bit nervous as to how you might receive them. You still hold a piece of my heart. To be honest, like a huge piece, the biggest piece. Um, it all comes down to timing. I know, I know it might be too late by the time I figure things out. So yeah, there is a fear here. There is a sense of urgency with this Knight of Swords. You know, I want to come in and do this very quickly. I don't want it to be too late. Let's get another one for this timing card because I'm not sensing it's timing they're concerned about right now. It could be inspiration, how to, how to do this, how to make this transition. It could be... Um, trying to find the, you know, the right, just the right way to do this, or, um, I, I just don't think it's timing, because I, I feel your person's trying to make their own opportunities here to, to say whatever it is they have to say to you. I miss you regardless of how things seem. Okay, so there's a lot here about your person looking like they're happily living their life and not thinking about you, but they are, and they could be saying for the longest time, I was maybe waiting for some kind of um, sign from the universe, Whereas the sign was within me all along that I miss you, that I'm worried it might be too late. That's my sign. What's on the back here? Um, I need to go my own way for a while. Yeah, I think they have done that. There's definitely a sense that they're wanting to move this forward with you quickly. Um, so they, yeah, maybe that's why they're fearing your words as well. Maybe this, there's been a long time um, of no communication or of them being quite distant or a bit cold with you possibly. Okay, so I think we have one that flipped, yeah. Okay, so we have Chaser. I don't want to chase anymore. Okay, so I think this is chasing happiness in the wrong, or looking for happiness in the wrong places. We have neglected, I failed to give you what you need, yeah, and I did have, you know, that word did come through earlier, um, sort of neglecting you or leaving you feeling neglected. Guilt, I feel pain from the damage I have caused. Mm -hmm. Secret, I haven't told you everything, absolutely. Um, but they they definitely want to. And I don't think there's anything negative here. I think the secrets are how deeply they feel, the fact that they want a future with you, that you know, they're in love with you. Um, and they could be kicking themselves saying, those were not bad things to have said. You know, why did I not say them? We have another card about time. I'm afraid it's too late to take action. They're not. They might be saying, remember the world card in reverse. It's It might nearly be too late, but I'm still going to try. Um, destiny, I'm struggling to find the right path. But yeah, I mean, two of wands is out twice. They're literally saying, okay, how do I do this? Commitment, I want you to be a part of my future. Yes, and we did have that message as well before. Holding back, <laughs> I should have expressed myself better underneath secrets um i haven't told you everything yeah they're really saying i wish i wish i'd have just told you how i felt or you know maybe um displayed it more um mm, okay so these particular cards here um were designed so that the blue are messages from the divine feminine energy within the connection and the red are messages from the divine masculine energy but i'm just going to read all of them as though they're coming to you from your person but if they resonate in the formal way with you then you know feel free of course to take them that way um i wonder if there is someone else who can make you happier than i can so some insecurities here but 
they're still going to try. Will you marry me? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's like I just proposed to myself. I was like, hell yes. <laughs> I'll marry you, Amelia. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry, I'm so stupid. Okay. Um, if I give in to you, you will have the power to break both my heart and mind. I can't survive that. So this person has incredibly big and deep feelings. I am considering moving on with a soulmate, but I really don't want to have to. I don't feel that at all, if I'm honest. So maybe that's your energy. All this person is doing is looking in your direction. In fact, if anything, they're considering moving on from a soulmate or from someone else to, to be with you. Okay, I am learning that I can still have a great life without you. Again, I don't see that here. This person is saying my life sucks you know you are you not that they're codependent here but they're kind of saying look i thought all these things meant that i had a great life but i'm still miserable um if that's not from you to them it could be them saying i had to go on this journey of growth so i wasn't codependent here i had to find my own um independence and stability before i could come back around to you you know to get into that nine of pentacles energy um I had put you on a pedestal and made myself small. To be honest, I still think that they do have you on a bit of a pedestal here. Um, I've been hurt so badly, I don't know if I can really love again. Yeah, remember that, here it is, Seven of Wands in the reverse. I think they kept you at a distance for some time. Um, maybe, you know, they were suspicious of this connection or they thought it was too good to be true. I'm having a hard time believing that you really love me. Yes, they, they did feel, actually, maybe you were too too good to be true. This, this love, this connection was too good to be true, especially if it felt quite instant. You know, they may have thought, oh, it's, it's, it must be lust or, um, you know, maybe that I haven't seen everything there is to see. I'm doing a clean-up job on my life right now in order to make room for you in it. I want to make sure we don't have any hang-ups along the way. I want you to feel as comfortable as possible. And that's exactly what I felt with them saying about learning to have a great life without you. I don't think it's quite that. I think it's them saying, um, I'm trying to be the best version of myself possible. You know, even if we have been in separation, I'm trying to, to really level up and sort myself out. You are my angel, the guiding light in my ascension, the light at the end of this dark tunnel I'm in. I'm like a moth to your flame and plan to run to you as soon as I overcome this. Okay, that does make me feel that they do have an awareness in some way at least about um, maybe what you're doing in life or what you were doing when you were in speaking if you're not in communication now or they have a way to kind of watch you maybe online or, or to check in with anyone you might mutually know you know that sort of thing if it's not that then memories of you sort of keep them going and inspire them to be a better person we have my limiting beliefs are evolving yeah i'm becoming more open-minded if my beliefs were an issue before please don't assume i'm the same way now i am much more ready to listen to you now so another thing they maybe want to say is um you know my I've been expanding my horizons, my beliefs have changed. Um, remember that conversation you were trying to have with, with me before? Well, can we, you know, can we talk about that again now? I've been living a double life and need to make major changes to live a more authentic life. By the time we talk next, I plan to be in a much better situation you can be proud of. And I did see that, you know, that King of Pentacles in the rever reverse. If we were just intimate and I ran away, please know it wasn't you. It was just super intense and awesome, so I ran feeling undeserving. I'll get my courage and come, I'll get my courage back and come back around. Okay. And we have, 
Please stop doubting our connection. I can sense it and it's making me doubt too. Just have faith and know I'll reach out to you when divine timing dictates and no sooner. Trust me, trust life more. And we have, you've done nothing wrong. I'm just figuring things out. I love you. I want you. I'm coming for you. Please be just a bit more patient with me. I'll make this up to you later. Yeah, they do love you. They are coming for you. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay. So let's ooh, let's get some channeled messages and then um, we'll finish up with some songs. I'm going to sing to you guys. <laughs> no, not really. Of course. Oh my goodness, I followed you, but you didn't realize. Wow. <laughs> I don't know how you're going to feel about that. Um, this could be in person, it could be I followed you, I'm following you online in some sort of way and if you don't realise maybe they have a fake account or something like that but I, yeah I do feel that they have you in their sight somehow. There's something you don't know about me. Look at all these messages about how they're keeping some secrets here. I mean yeah again it's it's, not, it's just not something sinister. It's I think you probably already know, you know, um, but they're saying, oh, you don't know how I feel. You don't know that I've been thinking about you, that I've been watching you. And many of you probably know that, you know, you do know that. I just want to impress you. Yes, they do. And, you know, they, they felt before they couldn't really impress you if they weren't impressed with themselves. Let's write a book together. So it could be a writing connection. Maybe they literally want to write a book with you or to create something. Um, but they're kind of saying, let's create so many memories here that we could fill a whole book. We have peaceful. This energy, it, it feels not necessarily peaceful that's coming from them because it feels quite... <laughs> it's focused. Um, we have yes popping out. So hold on. I don't know if you had a question for them, but yes, it's here. It feels that, that they're peaceful in the sense that they're in a, completely in alignment. There is no doubt in their mind that they, they want a new beginning here with you. That's a fact. They're figuring out the how. Um, but there is a sense of urgency. You know, they don't, now that they're fully committed to this, they're saying, right, I don't want to, I don't want it to be too late. I don't want to miss my chance here. Um, I fantasize about what you like in bed. So lots of physical attraction there. We have reserved. So maybe this person is saying you'd never know the sorts of fa fantasies that, <laughs> that I have about you. Yeah, especially if they've been trying to make you believe you're just friends. Liar. And we have spiritual or religious. So maybe that's something that you already know, or they could be saying I've become, I've been becoming more enlightened. And we did have that message saying that you're, what was it, an angel, a guiding light on their ascension. So maybe that's included some kind of um, spiritual insight or inner reflection. Okay, so let's get a couple of songs. So what songs, please, would this person like for my viewer to go and check out or to listen to? What are their messages through songs, please, Spirit? We have Snow Patrol, Chasing Cars. Um, we'll do it all, everything on our own. We don't need anything or anyone. If I lay here, if I just lay here, would you lie with me and just forget the world? That's kind of the energy of that King of Pentacles throwing away, you know, all of their fancy clothes and jewels and money and whatever's been holding them down and not bringing them joy anymore. And we have Adele, someone like you. I hate to turn up out of the blue uninvited, but I couldn't stay away, I couldn't fight it. I had hoped you'd see my face and that you'd be reminded that for me it isn't over. Yeah, the world in reverse, it's not over for them. You know, and they are saying, how, how can I, um, how can how can we make this happen? How can we reconnect? So maybe they have a plan that they're just going to go to some sort of event, you know, involving other people that they think you might be at and turn up and hope that when you see them in person, you know, you'll, you'll just melt and you won't be able to resist them. <laughs> okay, so 
I am going to leave this here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped and um, I'll see you on Friday. Bye.